Good afternoon, beekeepers and bee enthusiasts. How you doing? It's another great video today. And another great video with Secure Acres Natural Bees. We have a very exciting video planned for you today. And of course, today we'll be talking about the topics of building your own swarm hive. It's mid-January right now, so there's not much we can do with the bees themselves. However, swarm season is right around the corner. It's around April time frame. And when that time comes, it's going to be time to catch some swarms. So what better thing to do than just learn how to build your own swarm hive, get in the shop, um, get to work with some materials and some tools, and get straight to it. And of course, this isn't the most exciting thing we're going to be presenting today. Actually, what you're really going to be really interested in is at the end of the video, we're going to be providing details because we will be giving away the swarm hive that we're going to be building today to a lucky winner. And you can take the swarm hive, you can try to catch bees with it, or you can just use it as decoration. So when your friends come over, you can say, that ain't no birdhouse, that's a bee house. And we know you're going to love every second of it. It's going to be a great video. So without further ado, let's get to it. Okay, so before we get into the individual steps and materials and all that stuff, uh, I want to go over two things with you before we start this video. First, I want to give a huge amount of credit to Dr. Leo Sharashkin and his website, HorizontalHive.com. On this website, Dr. Leo, of course, sells hives and different beekeeping equipment, but the best part of his website, in my opinion, is he actually offers free plans on how to build swarm hives and frames and hives and uh, all kinds of different things. So he's, he's a really good man, and the stuff he provides on his website is so beneficial to beekeepers everywhere. I would highly recommend you check out that site. Um, and if you have a little trouble with our instructions today, you can always go to his site and look at his plans and see how he does his swarm hive as well. I also want to give credit to B-Boy Bill and his YouTube channel. Uh, B-Boy Bill has some really good construction videos on how to build hives and how to build swarm hives. And it's really fantastic. He's, he's got a great channel. So, you know, we've taken inspiration from both of these people um, in our construction today. And we know that you're going to love it, but, you know, these two people definitely helped us with our designs that we are doing. And a big credit to them and a big thank you to them as well. So without further ado, the first thing we need to go over, of course, is the tools and the materials you will need to build this swarm hive. So over the next few seconds, I'm going to provide a slide that's going to show you all the materials and tools you need to construct. And then after that, we'll get straight into building. Okay, so you got all your materials and tools together. So now it's time to get to work. So first you're gonna take your one by 12 by 10, and you're gonna cut that into the following boards. Two boards of 17 and one half inches, one board of 13 and 11 16th inches, three boards of 15 and three 16th inches, and one board of 15 and nine 16th inches. So let's get to cutting and we'll get straight to it. Okay, so now that you got your boards cut to the proper lengths, uh, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take all of these boards and we're gonna rip them to 11 inches. Okay, 11 inches exactly. So let's get straight to it. Okay, next thing we're gonna be doing is you're gonna take one of your 15 and 3 16 inch boards and your 15 and 9 16 boards and you're basically gonna rip it to six and seven eighths inches. So let's get straight to it. Okay. 
Okay, so now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take those two boards that you just ripped off of your sixth and seventh, seventh and eighth inch boards. You're gonna take the two boards you're gonna rip off and you're gonna rip these to two individual one and five eighth inch planks. So you'll have two for this one and two for this one. So let's get straight to it. Okay, so now you should have four strips of one and five eighths inches, okay? And you're gonna take the two strips that are 15 and 3 16th inches long, and you're gonna cut them down to 14 and 3 eighths inches. So at the end of it, you should have two strips that are 15th and 9 16th inches, and two strips that are 14th and 3 eighths inches. So let's get to it. Okay, so earlier, the two boards that you ripped down to six and seven to eight inches, these two boards, one is 15 and nine sixteenths. Go ahead and cut that now to 15 and three sixteenth inches. So at the end of it, you should have two boards that are 15 and three sixteenth inches. Let's get to it. Okay, so now you're gonna take your two 17 and one half inch boards, and you're gonna cut a seven sixteenth by seven sixteenth rabbit along the ends of both of them. This is where your frame rests are gonna be. So when you put your frames in, they'll sit right on top of those. So let's get to it. Okay, so now you're gonna take your seven and a half inch board and you're basically, we're gonna drill the entrance, okay? So you're gonna take a one and one fourth inch paddle bit, like you see right here, and drill. And you're gonna drill this three inches centered from the bottom and five and a half inches centered from the side, okay? Now, here's the very important part. When you're drilling this, you need to make sure you angle the drill at about 30 degrees upward and this will allow, if there's any kind of rainfall or anything, it won't get inside the swarm hide. So don't just drill it straight, you need to angle it upward a little bit. And be careful when you're drilling this, we've made this mistake before, make sure you're drilling on the outside of the rabbit, okay? Upward, not on the inside, because if you do it the other way, then you're gonna get some rain inside your swarm hive. So let's get to it. All right, now we need to create some holes for the ventilation. So basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna go three inches from the top and two and a half inches from each side. So one hole here and one hole here. And I use a three fourth paddle bit, but it's up to you how big you wanna make it. Generally that's good enough. Um, and the same thing as before, whenever you're drilling this into the board, make sure you're angling upward so no rain will get on the inside of the swarm hive. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is we need something to basically make sure that squirrels and birds don't get into our swarm hot. So I take a nail kind of like this, put in a vise and bend the very tip of it, as you can see. And then basically what I'm gonna do is just hammer it in to the side or the, the panel right here. Uh, so that way things other than bees will not come inside. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take some wire mesh and we're basically going to 
place them over our ventilation holes that you see right here. And you can use, I'm gonna use a staple gun for this. Uh, you can use a hammer and some like half inch nails, uh, but you know, whichever's good for you. Okay, so next thing we're gonna do, and this is the last uh, big cutting we're gonna be doing, and then we're basically ready to put this form home together. But we are gonna take our two boards that are six and seven eighths uh, wide that we ripped earlier, and our other two boards uh, that are 15 and 3 sixteenths. And basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut a 3 eighths rabbit, hold on one second. We're gonna cut a 3 8 rabbit along this edge, the long edge of all of them. So basically they're gonna to come together like this, okay? So you're gonna put a 3 8 rabbit on both of these boards and then the same on the two 6 and 7 8 boards as well. Uh, so they will come together like this. So uh, one thing I wanna make clear is you wanna make sure that that 3 8 cut is pretty precise because if not, whenever you go to put them together, uh, they won't be, you know, even or anything like that. So you want to make sure those cuts are pretty precise. So let's get to it. Okay, so once you cut those two rabbits, it should look something like this. And basically what should happen is you take the two boards and they come together just like that. And like I said, you wanna make sure that 3 8 cut is nice so it's nice and flat against each other. Okay, so we're on day two, as you can tell with my different arrangement of clothes that I have on now. Uh, not that this takes two days, but we had a few things we had to do yesterday and so we ended up having to cut after yesterday. And so we're back. And as I said before uh, in the previous segment, we've pretty much got all of our pieces cut. So now we're actually ready to put the swarm hive together. Um, so what you're gonna need next is you're gonna need your two 17 and a half uh, inch boards. Uh, and then you're also gonna need your 13 and 11 sixteenths board. This is your bottom board, okay? And basically what's gonna happen is we are gonna place the bottom board right here and we are gonna take our two seven, let me, let me put it sideways for you real quick. We're gonna take our two 17 and a half inch boards and we're gonna position them on the outside of the 13 11 sink board uh, as such, um, just like such. So what you're gonna need is you're gonna need a drill and you're gonna need uh, a, a drill bit you're going to need a countersink and you're going to need a screw bit uh, to screw in the screws. Um, so basically what's going to happen is on the bottom here, we put three screws along the bottom edge, uh, one hole one and a half inch from the side, then one hole five and a half inches from the side, and then the last hole, once again, one and a half inches from the side, and then three eighths of an inch up to the board. Okay. So that will position the screws pretty much right in the center of the bottom board. Um, and then also what you wanna do is you wanna take some glue and place the glue along the ends of the bottom board and then some wood glue and then put your 17 and a half inch uh, board against it and then do your uh, drilling, uh, drill your holes. Then use your countersink uh, to make sure you don't split the wood when you put your screw in and then put in your screws. And the screws we use are one and five eighth inch screws. So um, let's get straight to it.
Cool, and so what you'll basically do is take your other 17th and one half inch board and basically put that on the opposite end. And then yeah, that's all you gotta do for this step. Okay, so moving on to our next step. If you remember the six and seventh eighth board that you cut the rabbit in earlier, and then the 15 and 3 16th by 11 inch board that you also put the uh, rabbit in, if uh, you haven't been able to tell by now, but these are actually gonna form your side boards. Um, so what's gonna happen is we're gonna screw these panels onto the side like such. The six and seventh eighth is gonna be on the bottom. That's gonna go on there like such. And then the other, the longer board is gonna be on top and it's gonna connect just like that. Does that make sense? So um, as far as where you wanna screw, you know, really simple. We basically do uh, two screws on this end, two screws on this end and three on along the bottom. You know, there's no perfect way to do it, but I do an inch from the top, an inch from the bottom, and then as far as the, the bottom side, uh, two inches from the end right here, um, and then two inches from the end over here, and then of course this is centered. And uh, again, just make sure these are three eighths of an inch up into the board, uh, so they will go into the bottom board just fine. So let's get straight to it. Now, one thing I wanted to mention, when you're putting the sixth and seventh eighth board on the bottom side of the swarm hive, you need to make sure that the rabbit step is going up. And that's so if it rains and it gets in the crack, the water will not be able to go on the inside and get to the inside of the hive. And I know a few of you will look at my instruction and they'll say, well, he could have worded that a little bit better. And you're probably right, I could have. But the end result will still be just as beautiful. And I'm sure people will still have a great time trying to win this swarm hive in the competition. That's my sister talking, in case y'all are curious. Whoops. All right, so our swarm hive is really starting to come together and now it's starting to look good. But 
We have to test something at this point to make sure we got all of our measurements correct. And what we need for this test is a lens frame. And you're probably saying, well, Wes, you didn't tell me how to build a lens frame while you were telling me how to build this beautiful swarm high. And you're right, I didn't. We do not have a video yet for how to build frames. However, you can go to Dr. Leo's website, horizontalhive.com, and on there he gives free plans for how to build these frames. And at some point in the future, we will have a video for the frames, but as of right now, we do not. So, um, but what you want to do to make sure you got all your measurements correct is um, you're going to take this frame and basically you're going to set it on the inside. The frame should sit on the inside, be flush, and then you should be able to move it all the way across like such. Okay. And this swarm hive fits seven frames. Whenever you hang this, you're going to put seven frames on the inside. But uh, once you get this frame inside and you get it across, then you know your measurements are correct and you're good to go. So let's get to the next step. Okay, so now we're ready to put our top together and we're getting there. We're just about finished, but we got to get our top together. So you're going to take your four strips um, that you had from earlier. Um, and basically you're going to have two long strips and two short strips, right? And you're going to take your long strips and put them in between the short strips, as you can see right here. So you got your two short strips and you're gonna put your two long strips in between them. And then you're basically gonna screw them together and you wanna make sure you do this on a flat surface so your top will be square. Um, so just make sure you do that on a flat surface. I use like one, maybe two screws in each end. Um, and then basically all you're gonna do after that is you're gonna take your 16 inch by 18 inch board that we told you to have earlier and you're gonna cut that to 17 and 1 16th by 14 and 3 8 okay? You're gonna cut just like that, and then once you do that, you're just gonna screw, and you got your uh, side panels together, you're just gonna screw your top to your side panels like such. So, there you go. about that it's finished right no not not just yet we still got to put flashing on the top which is what we're about to do now and then uh a few more minor things but that's basically about it so it's looking pretty good i'm i'm really happy with this or we're really happy with this so let's go ahead and get the next step and knock this thing out all right so the next thing we're doing is we need some bars uh, basically above the ventilation holes uh, on both sides of the swarm hive that will be used so that when you pick it up, you don't pick it up from the top. And so you actually pick it up from these bars. So just gonna keep this really simple. Um, all you're gonna do is take the two by 12 by 10, the leftover wood you had from that, you should have had about so much wood, and basically cut out like these little three quarter inch strips um, like that. And basically all you're gonna do and just take a clamp like this. And 
clamp that to the front. You want to get it kind of low because remember the top is going to be sitting on top of this. So it should be just over the ventilation holes. Like such. And then once you got your clamp, all you got to do is take a screwdriver and or a drill and just screw screws in from the inside and basically connect them with that. And that's basically it. All right, so getting the flashing on top of the top. So you got your aluminum flashing and I know you all have your safety gloves because if you slice your hand on this stuff, it's gonna hurt. Um, so I would recommend using gloves of some sort while you're cutting this. And basically what you wanna do is you wanna measure your top and basically you wanna add about three inches to that to the length and width of your top. So for example, if your top is 14 inches wide, then you wanna cut a piece that's about 17 inches. So you basically have an inch and a half to go down the siding of the top. Um, I, I actually, I do two inches on each side. So uh, for example, my top was like 17 inches by just over 14 inches. So I'm gonna cut a piece that's 21 inches by 18 inches. Um, so yeah, basically that. So that way you'll have enough siding to go down um, that you can screw in. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this piece of flashing off and yeah, we'll go from there. All right, it's not the flashing, it's just tape. I thought I cut the flashing or something. All right, so I've got this 18 inches wide. So now I'm gonna cut seven or 21 inches long. So I'm gonna go ahead and measure that out and get it cut out and uh, we'll get right to the next step. Gloves are kind of big. That's okay. And uh, you know, as far as the flashing goes, with screwing this on, you know, there's no measurement that's perfect. I kind of just even them out a little bit. You know, you set the top on top, and then you kind of press down on it. You screw those four in, and then you work on the other side. And then I'll show you what you need to do to get these corners to where they're looking good and not sloppy. All right, so once you got the flashing where it's screwed on both ends of the top, to make this look good, and so you don't have any weird folding, all you're gonna do 
is take your clippers like this and you're basically going to clip in this corner right here just like that and you're going to do the same to this side just like that and basically you fold these in just like that and you take this and basically fold that up and then you just screw right along that edge there that's what we're going to do now That's beautiful, isn't it? We really like how that turned out. A um, few more things I gotta mention, a little miscellaneous things that we still gotta do, um, is we have to, of course, put an entrance disc on the front, and you can get these from horizontalhive.com, from Dr. Leo's website. And basically, whenever you install these, you just screw that right on the front, and then this allows you, when you catch your bees, you can rotate this to the ventilation option so they can still get some air um, while you're doing it. And of course, the last thing we gotta do after we put our entrance disc on is we gotta put on the acrylic exterior primer on the outside that you can pick that up at Lowe's. It's just something that will seal the wood and preserve it for a much longer time. You don't have to paint your swore hive. Um, it's totally up to you. I know some people don't, some people do. Um, we like to just because we think it helps preserve the wood. But in any case, we are so happy with the swarm hive. And stand by, we're going to go over those details right now about how you can get your hands on this thing. All right, so we got this thing put together. Like I said, there's a few little things left to do, but I mentioned them in the last video. One thing I forgot to show in this video that you need to be aware of is for you to put your little vial of lemongrass essential oil on the inside of the swarm hive, you need a little U-nail to go on the inside, about big enough to fit a pin through it, but basically... You nail it on the inside of here, right above the entrance. So you can put your vial of lemongrass essential oil in there. Um, so then you'll be, have some good bait. So now for the moment you've all been waiting for. Of course, it is time to talk about who's going to be getting this amazing swarm hive. So uh, you need to pay attention to all the directions I'm about to give. And do not cut out of this video until I'm done speaking because you don't want to miss a piece of information that might make you lose or whatever. Um, first off, you're going to mention in the comments on this YouTube video, not anywhere else, but this YouTube video and below, and you're going to mention a comment with either Swarm Hive or Swarm Trap in it. You choose which one you like best. So I just want to kind of take a little poll of who likes what better. But in any case, mention Swarm Hive or Swarm Trap in your comment. And then what we will be doing is we will be picking out a random person in the YouTube channel to basically give away. So we're gonna wait two weeks after we post this video, two weeks. And then after two weeks, we're gonna do the poll and we're gonna figure out the winner. And what will happen at this time, I'm gonna to go to that person's comments and I'm gonna say, hey, you're a winner. And I'm gonna give you the details that you need to claim this prize, okay? You've got to pay attention to your comments on this video because if it goes like four or five days after I've told you you're a winner and you don't respond to me, I'm going to be forced to choose another winner. So just make sure you pay attention to your comments. Like I said, we'll be drawing the winner about two weeks after we post this video. And then I'm going to go to that person's comment. And you're probably saying, and one thing I want to mention too, we would really appreciate it if you tell your friends about this uh, raffle as well. And you're probably saying to me, Wes, why would I tell my friends about this raffle and reduce my chances of winning this beautiful swarm hot? Well, I would just have to say to you, that if we get more subscribers and more views, then our hands will be tied and we will be forced to release more videos. And if we're willing to give away a swarm hive at 500 subscribers, then there's no telling what fabulous prizes will await you in the future. So we thank you so much for being part of this channel. Again, pay attention once you put your comment about two weeks after I post this video, we're gonna draw the winner and I'm gonna say, hey, you, you're a winner. And here's the details you need so you can claim your prize. And then all you gotta do is just respond. It'll be through an email. And then you'll be good to go. You'll have a nice, beautiful swarm hive on your way. And like I said, you can try to catch bees with it or you can 
Um, use it as decoration in your house, you know, whichever you see fit. Don't feel afraid to sign up for this contest just because you might not be willing to try to catch honeybees. You know, this is something beautiful that you can place in your house and you can tell your friends about it. Say, yeah, that's not a birdhouse. That's meant for catching bees. So, uh, in any case, we thank you so much for being a wonderful community. That last video we did, we were congratulating people on our 400 subscriber mark. We just had a huge turnout and we were so happy about that. And it just made us really happy to be doing this channel. And so we thank you all so much for watching and thank you for bearing with me on my, what may seem as a lack of skill in some cases with my carpentry. I know how to build swarm hives, main hives and frames, but outside of that, my knowledge of carpentry is a little, you know, on the low end. So uh, we appreciate you bearing with us and we'll see you soon.